Okay, it's June 12th, Wednesday. You're here at the Chaos DEI, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Working Group. Glad to see everybody here. We have a little small group today. That's okay. I like small groups. Let me just share real quick here. All right. So if you have not put this, I don't know why I was thinking about this. I think it's time for me to get my hair dyed. Like I'm, I'm really hoping to go for like a dawn look, you know, like a, a bold, yeah. Do it. Yeah. I, Cause I did have, I used to have blue hair like underneath, like it was like uh -huh. hidden with like a layer of normal hair over it. That was so, as close as you could get. Like, <laughs> like you could only see it if I put my hair up in a ponytail. So yeah, it's like secret, but I loved it. I loved it. So blue hair underneath. Oh, and Allison, yeah. It's the dyeing, right? I don't know. It's the more than the style. I think it's the color. I don't know. Shape sides, beads and back. Yeah, nice. And then I'm trying to find my mullet picture. It's oh, hilarious. My oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you want that on the internet, Sean. No, it's it's yeah, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> it may never come off the internet. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Hey Yiga, how you doing? Here are the minutes. If you need them. Whoa, what's going on here? Um, okay. So let's jump in. And um, I just wanted to give a shout out. I did this yesterday in the weekly community call, but um, I just want to give another shout out to this group because sometimes this group's a little different. Um, just want to congratulate Chaos Africa on two absolutely amazing years of, of hard work and connections and progress and just <laughs> some life changing experiences I know. So um, yay to Ruth and to her whole team of everyone who has been involved in Chaos Africa. I just wanted to give you a huge shout out. I think Ruth might be working on a blog post or podcast. I think, well, we are going to try to do a podcast on it, but um, yeah, so just amazing work. Thank you to everybody for all of your hard work and everything that you've done to contribute. We really, really appreciate you and we love you. Um, Adi, here's some minutes if you need them. Welcome, welcome. Uh, the next thing I also wanted to mention from yesterday as well is that um, the Chaos Africa folks did put on a, a an event yesterday with this Project Enable group, which is awesome. They um, speak or they help folks living with disabilities um, integrate themselves into society and and be you know help them be productive and included. And so uh, this in particular was about open source and how we can encourage them to contribute. Um, because they are so desperately needed in this space and we would love to include them. So you may see some folks uh, from that event around chaos. So definitely welcome them in. Here is a link to, and I haven't watched this yet. I'm super excited about this though. Um, this was the training that was given to all the volunteers prior to the event and it was hosted with Project Enable. So um, just wanted to link that here in case anyone here is interested in watching that. I know I definitely will be watching that. Um, I think it's super interesting and I, um, I, I think it would be great for a lot of folks in chaos to watch that just so that we're we're just a better community and better uh equipped to um include folks so yeah there you go um questions comments anything the pictures were great <laughs> that were shared yesterday yeah there are pictures in the random channel right i think it was random yeah. yeah i really love it i love it um yeah gets me a little <laughs> i was feeling a little bit emotional yesterday and i'm still kind of on that track i don't know i just i'm just so proud to be in this community of, of wonderful lovely people it makes me very happy um okay anything else we want to talk about with that okay let's go on so this was actually a conversation from two weeks ago that we did not have time to talk about last week, so I kind of bumped it up a little bit on the list today. Um, Matt, I think, had an idea for a DEI.MD workshop, and so we talked about it here, um, but Matt, you had to jump out early. So yeah. had quite a lot of um, interest in this, a ton of ideas. So I basically just copied them up here. I thought maybe we could just bring this back up again um, to, to figure out like what, what we do, where, where we go from here and what we want to do next. 
Um, these were some of the things that people were talking about, just ideas of what we could include in the workshop, what we think would be important. Um, maybe some breakouts. Um, Did anybody, so I see there's a lot of people who have expressed interest down below. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of my first thoughts, I know we didn't have a chance to talk about this last week, but one of my first thoughts was to just like offer an online like 30 minute session and we could just promote it via um, LinkedIn. And, I mean, honestly, we could, with these questions that are here, we could start, we could spend a little bit of time here just making a slide deck, you know, that. Yeah. Yeah, we could. The same way that we make metrics in some meetings, but just actually do a little bit of work. Because these are really great questions, you know, like why other projects that have, that have taken the time, um, how you go about thinking about these questions. You know, I, I think it's so, almost like the intro would be just answering maybe like three of those questions. You know, like, why do you do this? <laughs> um, how do you go about doing this? And then um, like, who else is done? I don't know, whatever the questions might be. Um, and then the rest of the session would probably just be kind of hands on you know, by saying, here's the template for the DEI.md file. Um, let's take a minute and just you know, look at one of the metrics, like how you might go about filling that out. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you're done, how you go about, you know, submitting a request, because the submission of the request is, that's real easy. The majority is obviously spent on kind of preparing the document. So do we want to just start another doc where we're just um, starting yeah. to get out the agenda? Yeah. Okay. yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let me just stop sharing for a second and I will. Okay. You uh, that'll help because I keep trying to edit your screen. <laughs> It happens. Okay, let me create a new box. I don't think it would, I, my thought would be a, a live session. But we could, we could do it live, but record it just so other people can watch it later. True. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I'm trying to do more than one thing at one time and that is not a good mix for me. Okay, I have a new doc here. Let me share this with everybody. That's the kind of true you give somebody when you don't believe them. What's that? That's the kind of true you give somebody when you don't believe them. <laughs> no, no, or you're distracted then. You can't, you're just like, true, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Whatever you say. <laughs> okay, I want to make everybody an editor. All right, here we go. Here is the link to a new doc, and I will just. Well, let's do it. Do you want? Could we do it as a slide? Yeah. Yes, we can. Why? I what would you do think with it? A doc with ideas, and then I break them into slides. But we can certainly do it just right in slides. Hmm. What do I? What do I? Go to the folder. Yeah, I have to go back to the drive. It's a little weird. You can click on that cloud, I think. Oh. oh. I think the cloud just saves it. But then you the can drive. Kind of see that square with the arrow at the top? That'll take you to the actual drive. There we go. But that, am I logged in as? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, stocks. Do we want it? Where do we want to put this? DEI badging? Yeah. Yeah, I probably got it. New. Google Slides. Yes, create and share. Yeah. Here we go. That these don't have the template, but that's okay. We can retro. <laughs> there we go. Boom, done. <laughs> 
slide music. Sure that one. Sure. Yes. It took me a minute to realize what you actually said. Where did the chat go? Okay. I'm telling you, I've had coffee. I promise. I'm here. I'm, I'm with it. We can add a bunch of slides. And people can just drop in whatever. <coughs> Here's, here's some of the ideas that we had going back here. So why, how, metrics. I like this um, goal at the end of the workshop that whoever is attending will have the DEI.MD first draft to share back with their community. I mean, I guess that would be a little bit more of an extensive workshop because you're not going to do that in half an hour, but um i thought that was kind of an interesting goal so that it was like you could moving people right, John. if we drive to it i think it's like especially if we provide templates and uh advice on where to get the material they would need to fill it in i i don't know half an hour might be a little ambitious but not super ambitious i don't i don't think creating one if you have an example to work from and the guidance of people who know it well half an hour is probably doable, but that's about all we would do. So, so if our goal for this workshop is to move them off zero, yeah, I think that would be a good goal. It could just be a super high level draft, but something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they know where to go for the rest of it at the end, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so where, let's see, I never, where is our template right now? Uh, somewhere, oops. <laughs> Where how did we get to drive? Here's drive. Okay, it's in. Uh, I think it's in. Is it? It's probably in badging, isn't it? Docs and files. Hmm. Nope. Um. Okay, here it is. So we could just use this as the. Oh, I was talking about the DEI.MD template. So oh, <laughs> I was like, why are you going to design stuff? Well, hey, here's the. Th we'll keep this open just for. My mind next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's in badging. I think it's just in badging, badging. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. Guide yeah, in. There's a there's one called template, I think, there isn't there. Mm. Template.dei.nd. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So like maybe so let's include that obviously. And then maybe um so go to slide four. So maybe in terms of like the 30 minute workshop, we could, to Sean's point, try to get them to have a DEI.MD file or to the conversation earlier. And maybe one of the things we could do is like slide five, can you open the template again? Mm -hmm. So slide five would just be called project access. Slide six would be called communication transparency. Slide seven would be newcomer experience and then inclusive leadership and we could just ask people in there when they're pulling out their own dei.md file to just put like one thing in there yeah yeah and then we'll do the same for communication transparency let's just let's, that would be slide six When they do actually have something they can bring back, it's yeah. certainly not complete, but but it's something to iterate on. Yeah. It's so hard to start from a blank slate, I think, as yeah. we are writing right now. <laughs> like you got to start somewhere in uh, newcomer experiences. Okay.
And the fourth one is inclusive leadership. Okay. And that template, <laughs> excuse me, the template, like our template. Uh, ours, the chaos yeah. one. Does it have, can you just click on the template? Yeah. yeah. This thing is covering up. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, we're, I think ours is in our community, right? Oh, you right. were just showing it, but. Um, I wish. Was... You were just showing that. Yes. So actually then go over on the left side, click on guide.dei.md. And maybe we add that to that slide too. Because this is the one that also has examples, doesn't it? The guide. I kind of yeah. forget. I think, let me look real quick. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Sample. Yeah. Oops. I keep clicking on this stupid thing. Okay. There you go away. Yeah. So then we just, the slides are like, why create this thing? Who else has done it to this point? Yeah, and we have some of this on the, nope, that's not what I want. Imagine.chaos.community. Right, obviously we could include that. Yeah, so like we can steal some of this. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll just copy and paste it. Oh, well, that's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> I guess that's a, that's not a why. No, it's, we could say what. <laughs> what? What, <laughs> what, what is what, right? what the DEI.md file? <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. And then we can insert a slide. And then maybe we should also, yeah. And then maybe slide, let's add a slide of how it works, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just copy all that because we weren't written it. Well, that's the point. That way we're not like, <laughs> we're, not making, we're not making a mistake. Yeah. I mean, we can clean it up because that's a lot of words for a slide. Yeah. But and then maybe in slide, um, slide two, yeah, you can get that link too. Like, like, two. I, I, or like um, make a new slide too. Sorry, I could be doing this, but it's just <laughs> more fun to just watch you and. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Slide, new slide, move this up, get rid of this, delete, okay. There we go. I'm just thinking like maybe we just want to have acknowledgements here, like thank yous. Excuse me a minute, I'm dying from grass pollen. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? And we can just put a list of people here. Like before we get started, just a thank you to all of the people in the community that have helped and all that stuff. Yeah. I don't think we would do names, but just because I'm always afraid we would forget somebody. Okay, yes. Okay, we'll just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to all the awesome people. You're right. So that's, and then you could probably just duplicate slide two down at the bottom again. Just copy it. Yeah. So this is a pretty good start. Um, it is a good start. I'm wondering what else we had in here. Um, so we, yes, so, so the idea is also to kind of dig deeper into DEI a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. that might be a separate thing. I don't know. Like what is, do you remember what that was about? Um, I'm not sure, I don't remember who was bringing this up. Uh, maybe Yiga actually, but I don't, did, is Yiga still on the call? Yiga, was that you that was bringing this up last time? Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi. Um, 
I I do think that um, you know having recorded sessions online with all of this would also help people kind of understand what we're trying to do, and it will help it to be more accessible, right? Um, we just have to get taught, taught leaders, you know, within the community or even outside the community to talk on, you know, these things. And that way we would also, it also makes the community to become or be more of a thought leader in the field, right? So I think that, and making it open to the general public as well will also be a good idea. Yes. So. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's super valid. Just like it's hard to do a self-assessment and without, mm -hmm. yes. if you don't know what your biases are going in, <clears throat> there might be a temptation to be like, yeah. oh, I'm just doing everything perfectly all the time. So, mm -hmm. and also, also people can also take, um, there are also tests, you know, available, or we can also create, you know, I mean, we already have metrics. We can check within ourselves, check within our metrics, and also create self-assessments that can also help, right? And, you know, maybe add it, you know, as an added resource to the available ones that are out there on the internet so that people can also understand, hey, um, I, I never really knew that I was... Um, I was not very open to people with disabilities. I never really knew that my events would be better by simply bringing... Um, or allowing uh, women with children, you know, to attend those events and all of those things are things that can just help, right? They're just things that can help, you know, make the community better and make the general public understand what we mean by biases. <laughs> because some people have these biases and they don't even know it. Yeah, so. Or they don't know that they're doing it. So that's, that's where my uh, thought was at the time. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's really great. Um, and I think that would be really helpful because that might also be a blocker for people where they're just like not even sure how to start even doing a self-assessment of their project. Or maybe they feel like they have to have more things to list and they're not sure like how to go about mm -hmm. that, you know, so mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. So I just added, you know, I think that's these are that's a really fair point, um, and so I just put that I just I had put it on a slide below based on that conversation, but it can go here, like to sh and we should remind them at the end like as you make this document, share it with everybody like get feedback from your community. Um, Cause yeah, if you just do it like the one person who's on the call, <laughs> you know. Uh, Yeah. I'm sorry, Max, were you speaking to me? No, no, no. I was just commenting on your comments. I think your your, oh. note, your note on bias and self assessment is a point well taken. You know, like I think even like in this in an example like that, like Elizabeth who knows the community super well and is very focused on how we center DEI within our community. Like if, if Elizabeth alone created the DEI.md file, that's like, there's, <laughs> there's probably not enough. Like it, it, it would be still good to share it with other people and get feedback. And even though she, you do a great job, <laughs> but like, it's great to, to continue to keep that process open. Oh yeah, hundred mm -hmm. percent. Totally agree. Okay, you know, that's great. Um, there's also some ideas about um, implementing some of the metrics and like giving people ideas of like if they feel if, if one of their concerns is that they don't have enough things to put down in the DEI.md file, like if they're just doing one thing and they don't want to publish the DEI.md file that way. I'm just spitballing here, but um, give it like would that be part of this workshop to give them ideas on other things that they can do to like beef up their I think the guide gives okay. a lot of ideas. Okay. So going through that, I think, will be enough. Yeah. There are so we have seven to ten, maybe oh, in each yeah, one. For each one. Mm -hmm. so yeah, Yiga, you have your hand up. Yeah. So I wanted to add that. Um, 
terms of ideas, we can also get, I mean, look around, do a mini research to see what communities are doing, what, you know, communities are doing effectively and what is working well in communities around open source. And then we can, you know, add that to the ideas that we share in our DEI.md file. So I think a mini research there would be nice. But just in case we miss out something. Yeah, and I think having like what Elizabeth is typing here, having those links to the other DEI.md files, so like taking a look at what, say, for example, GitLab had done, could really be interesting for people as well. Um, so I guess a, a question is, like, are the people on the list here, like Yiga and Mary Blessing, Petulia and Allison, like, comfortable with the DEI.md file enough to, um, be, you know, like, be comfortable doing a workshop and talking about the content? Because it seems like, honestly, the structure that you created here, Elizabeth, in the slides, that's, pr that's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, you know, um, so my guess is a lot of it would come from the interaction with the person kind of running the workshop. If we do it live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We could yeah. also split into like pairs or something too. Okay. Well, that's a good idea to have Yiga and Allison both said yeah mm -hmm. on that question. That you'd be comfortable enough helping a, a community kind of think through the DEI.md file. I like the idea of pairs too because. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind hosting one either. Okay. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Matt, we added you because we assumed you would be interested, but I didn't want to volunteer you. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you don't want to do one, we can. Well, just... I mean, if there's other people who would like to host the workshop, I think that'd be great. Doink. Okay, deleted. <laughs> <laughs> you have to delete me. Because <laughs> uh, I could still build out the agenda, <laughs> organize. <laughs> now I'm not helping at all. <laughs> And if there's anyone else on the call that wants to be involved with this, absolutely, we would love it. So, okay, I think we maybe should move on because we do have um, other things. Also, I see Christy's on the call. So I don't know, Christy, if you want to, I don't want to put you on the spot at all, but if you wanted to give an update on the work that you've been doing, I mean, you've been doing such amazing things and it would be great to share that if you want. So if you want to add it here as an agenda item, I won't do that for you. Um, okay, let's go ahead and move on if that's okay. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. I just, we, like we've spent like a half an hour, so I just want to, this is a great start, I think. Yeah, I agree. Should we um, add this to the Absolutely. agenda for next time too? Yeah, let's, because then we could like update, <laughs> update the template. Yeah. Just do all that stuff. Yep. Cool. Um, I did want to bring this up again. This is something we've been iterating on uh, the last few weeks, and um, it would be great to get closer to progress on actually shipping this. So I did bring it back on here. I've uh, incorporated all of the feedback that were, um, oops, except for my own here, uh, add these two. Um, um, yeah, so I incorporated all the changes. We do have some, still some confusion around this metric, I think. So I, I wanted to bring it up again. Uh, yeah, this has been kind of ongoing. So what's the confusion? I think, um, Kevin was saying like, and we talked about this in the metrics development working group as well regarding the template that we're using. So we were thinking that the very first sentence in the overview should be what the thing is measuring, like exactly what this measures. As opposed to like a general narrative. Of... Right. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can keep that, but just like yeah. that first sentence should be super clear that this metric measures blah. And gotcha. so I think that might be what yeah. Kevin's referring to. Yeah, just to yeah cut through the cut to the chase here. So what does this measure? <laughs> uh, and that's I mean it's a valid point because I don't. <laughs> yeah. The the extent to which uh, an open source project is set up to minimize potential risks associated with leadership and open source projects. <laughs> like I don't I don't actually even know. So I mean it's a super valid point. Like are we just measuring the number of of yeses here? Are we measuring I, I don't know. I'm just reading it. I'm not yeah, yeah. So, okay, so I know you want to put this, have some closure on this, but reading this, um, what do you think about like a title being like trust in leadership? I mean, I think that makes total sense um, and speaks uh, more to what Emma's original intent was, I think, around this. Because even down below, we have uh, <clears throat> like one of those smaller sections is actually called accountability. Mm -hmm. So, like, it seemed to me it was when I hit that, I was like, that's weird that we would have the title be accountable leadership and then have one section dedicated to accountability and a bunch of other sections not probably dedicated to accountability and so it might make sense if the title is something like trust in leadership and it can occur around these things that we trust leadership to have core competencies that we trust leaders to be held accountable that we trust leaders to the top one to like you know step down or be elected that kind of thing So are we measure? So what what are we measuring then? Are we measuring the the the? Um... It's really the to me it becomes then like the community's, um, uh, whatever. What's the word? Like the community's belief that they trust the leaders of the community or something like that. Belief seems like a weird word here, but. Is that something we can put a number on or actually measure if it's going up or down? I see Yiga has her hand up as well. Yeah, what do you think, Yiga? Okay, so I wanted to say that um, I do agree with Matt, you know, trust and leadership, and then below it, we need it. You know, we can then put in accountable, accountability, right? <clears throat> Because it's such a broad topic, and it might be a bit difficult to, um, you know, measure it if we we don't try to align, you know, or put in particular metrics that can be measured, right? So as opposed to saying, um, you know, 
to the leaders or the the people that start an open source project, they believe that they can trust somebody. You cannot always count on belief. You know, that's like the one thing that I, I want us to consider. We need to try to look at metrics. What ways can we say um, we'll be able to track these people that become maintainers or become, you know, owners of a particular project? Because I remember that the conversation that brought this up was, you know, somebody just deleting a whole project and all of that. So one of the ways, for example, would be, you know, enabling two-factor authentication, right? And not just not just because of, uh, uh, not just for individual purposes, but for the general pro project as well, or like the open source project, right? Because, for example, my phone can get missing and automatically somebody else has access to it, right? Um, but if there's two-factor authentication on your project already, it also makes it, it gives a two-level um, access to say, okay, um, you know, maybe sign in with your phone number, sign in with another email, you know, a way to authenticate that it's actually you, you know, pushing something. Another way will be to say um, people grow in leadership. I, I believe in you know, regular companies, people are not just handed leadership positions, right? They have to gain trust. They have to, you know, rise in leadership, right? And in as much as it's open source, but you also want to be, you know, you want, you don't want all of the work that has been done over the years to just go in an instant, right? Um, so those are ways that I believe that we can checkmate it. And if we can try to, I mean, depending on the different licenses that people operate with and what is obtainable in the different you know, open, open source licenses. Um, so for example, if you were to work in a regular company, the one thing that they would do is um, the KYC, right? Um, know your customers, you know? So know your, your staff, know, your, know the people that you work with, right? So for example, if that is acceptable within open source, we'd like to know you better, right? Where are you from? Um, you know, fill a form, something, right? As opposed to just, you know, saying, um, we, we just want to believe in you. Yes, we believe in you, but we also want to make sure that this project is doesn't just disappear by a simple mistake. So yes, and then checks and balances as well would be a great way to be something great to put into consideration. So yes, I just wanted to point out those things. Thank you. Yeah, so this is, I, I see that we're kind of looking at this two different ways. One is, so like the question, says what are we doing to minimize risk so here are all the things we're doing to minimize risk and are we doing more things than we did last year or um are there more that we need to do are we are we doing more things from year to year um and then this is like more about how people feel i think um which is uh, i think maybe a different that, that would maybe it is like a survey or something like that where we would survey the community, how, how well do you trust the leaders in this community? How well do you think we're doing like that kind of thing, right? I, I agree. I think the inclusion, just kind of following this metric, the inclusion of risk seems like it's fairly recent and seems to have kind of taken this metric in a different way. And if we want to have a metric about how a project considers risk, that would that's just something else i really feel like this one started out as how well do we we as a community think about our leadership and hold them accountable or try or in this case trust them yeah go ahead sean i see i see your point exactly i think what's happening is we are we are um mitigating or not not carefully distinguishing between leadership and management Avoiding risk is something that I would expect from a good manager, a good operations person, a leader who's just ensuring that we're safe. That's why they have direct, you know, directors of operations and managers of operations and business is basically to manage that risk. Leadership is different. Leadership is creating this vision of how we press forward and conflating. Like we, I think we've a little bit conflated leadership and management in here. And I think we want to talk about leadership more than management, which would push out the risk notions, not that they're not valuable, but I think that's a different thing. 
to Matt's point. Um, uh, no, I, I think it's okay if, if we if we take this towards trust, then this whole concept of trust, the questions below pretty easily become survey questions. I mean, maybe with a little bit of like, you know, editing to make sure that they are like Likert scale style questions. So would they, is this something they would put out to their community? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, like, I will say this, <laughs> in in the academic world, trust is one of like the oldest and <laughs> most complex, um, like variables studied <laughs> by people. Yeah, it's hard to d definitely like define and it's been around for a long time. <clears throat> okay. And it becomes like, you know, do you feel that leadership um, are appropriately limited by time? I'm picking up the questions, not that one, but yeah. That's it. Okay. So we'd have to modify the overview a little bit. Yeah. But then if you take a look at the questions like review and renewal, distribution of leaders, accountability, so on and so forth, those become pretty straightforward. Yeah. Likert scale questions. So you would be like one to five. I agree with. Four. Yeah. Yes, we could do it in a variety of different ways. But yeah, something along those lines. One to five. Yes, leadership roles are limited by time and are appropriately renewed. Okay. And some of the questions may end up going away just because they may have become more risk oriented. Yeah. Okay. See, but then they all sort of start making sense. Yeah. You know, I feel like we, I mean, really, you look at that, I feel like we renew and review leadership on a regular basis in the community. <laughs> That's yeah. that first set of questions. I feel like leadership is well distributed throughout the community. That's kind of that second set of questions. The third set then just becomes, I believe, leaders are accountable, held accountable for their actions. Yeah, okay. The last one is, you know, leaders help. That, that damage limitation stuff might, might actually go away. That might be to Sean's point. That's more like risk mitigation stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we need people that focus on that, but they're usually not the visions, the people leading the progress. Right. They're usually playing a more important or a differently important role. So would this, um, would, would there be space for a risk metric separate from this even? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we separate them, we create less confusion. Oh, I put it in mine. Okay, that's okay. I'll fix that. Because I'm logged in as me. Okay. I like that. I think it's clearer. What do others think? Yeah, I think it's great. And I'm looking at the time. And now we are out of time. <laughs> so Christy, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. If you do want to give a, uh, is Christy still on the call? I think we might have lost, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and end this now. We can, I'll, I'll do some work on this again and bring it back up next time. I think it should so, be a little more straightforward now. 
Yeah, agreed. I appreciate the the feedback and the input from everybody. Now my head is clearer. So, okay. all right. I'm well, glad. I got more confused, but if you're clear, that's good. <laughs> It happens. Uh, right. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.